Oh my god. I just came back to my Manila home having spent almost four weeks in the US and as expected, my ant colonies have grown so much since I left. Look at this. They're just ants everywhere. Now, as some of you may have noticed, most of my recent videos have been about my red tropical fire ants, a colony which you guys named the Fire Nation. And because of you, our AC family, the Fire Nation is now a worldwide hit. Having appeared on National Geographic and the Discovery Channel, having been shared by celebrities like Joe Rogan, and the Fire Nation has been shared on blogs all over the world. High five to us, AC fam! So now it's time to give the spotlight to our beloved black crazy ant colony on this channel. And so I'm calling on all of you AC family out there to gather around so we can finally grant this Perichikina longicornis colony an official name. In a previous video, I asked you to leave name suggestions and also asked you guys to give a thumbs up on any suggestions that you guys may have liked. I've gone through them, chosen the most popular ones and a few that I found particularly good, and today we shall finally cast our votes in phase 2 of naming this black crazy ant colony whose workers multiply by the day, move with blinding speed, have multiple queens capable of double cloning, and are completely adorable and harmless when I work around them. I also announced the winner of last week's question of the week, as well as announced this week's AC question of the week for a very exciting prize. AC Voting Council, gather round for it's time for us to cast our votes to bestow a name upon our black crazy ants here at the Ants Canada Ant Channel. Okay, so here is how this phase 2 of name voting will work. I've chosen 20 name suggestions and you guys will be voting on them in 4 rounds. Before each round, I will go over and give an assessment on each name, then ask you to vote for your one favorite per round. So in other words, the way this is gonna work is by the end of this video, you will have voted for a total of 4 names. One name for each round. To vote, I have placed iCard polls which will pop up when it's time to vote. If you want, you can simply vote right away for all four rounds, but I think it might be more fun to vote together, round by round. Plus, something I might say might make you change your mind, so my suggestion is that you wait until I say to vote before actually voting for each round. Also, hopefully you guys vote at each round and not skip rounds to get as accurate results as possible. Please note that these iCards work when viewing on both mobile and desktop, but may not be viewable on some players. In which case, feel free to make noise and let your vote count by leaving your picks in the comment section. From the results of this video, I will choose the winning name from each of the four rounds as well as one wildcard, and we shall vote again on a final name in a future video. So are you guys ready? Okay, here we go guys! This first set of names is interesting. I've grouped together the top five names that are references to other things. The Dark Side. Now this name received so many upvotes Obviously, it's a reference to Star Wars, the aspect of the Force, a metaphysical and ubiquitous power in the Star Wars fictional universe. And I'm a Star Wars fan, so I really like this name. And it's obviously fitting because dark, black crazy ants, good connection. Now, one reason I might not vote for this name though is because in Star Wars, Darksiders allegedly draw power from raw emotions and feelings such as anger, hatred, greed, jealousy, fear, aggression, megalomania, and unrestrained passion. And I'm not sure if that would fit the personality of these ants. Either way, just having them named after such a huge and well-known Star Wars reference might be pretty cool. Next, we go from Star Wars to another favorite of mine, Star Trek. The Borg was suggested as a name for these black crazy ants and it made me smile a bit. You see, in the Trekkie universe, the Borg are an alien race, a collection of species that have been turned into cybernetic organisms functioning under a hive mind called the Collective, or the Hive. I find this super fitting, guys, for a name for these ants, and for any ants, really, because the colony is an ant colony, and they act collectively to benefit the whole. I find the Borg to also be a fitting name, particularly for these black crazy ants, because if you saw our past video, you see that black crazy ants can recruit an outsider queen into the colony, which is exactly what the Borg do to recruit outsiders, turning them into the Borg. One reason this name might not be fitting is because the Borg are made up of assimilated individuals of many different species, and in our black crazy ant colony, they're all one species. But again, cool reference for a very cool and well-known franchise. Moving on from the world of spaceships to the world of superheroes. 
The Dark Knights was a cool suggested name, of course a reference to famous DC superhero Batman. Now besides having a lot of cool instruments and weapons, Batman was a skilled fighter, was very strong, appeared to move around swiftly and almost invisibly, and was black. All definite qualities of our black crazy ants here. Batman also appeared when needed at just the right times, in the same way that the ants do when I drop a roach. He's also a good guy, and well, black crazy ants don't sting or bite me when I'm working around them. Now one reason that this name might not be fitting though is that Batman seemed to come out mostly at night, and these ants are active both day and night. Okay, so now we logically move on from the world of comics and superheroes to the world of anime. The Earth Kingdom was one of the names that you guys suggested, and it was a reference to Avatar The Last Airbender, an American animated television series aired on Nickelodeon. And this of course was suggested because the Fire Nation is also a reference to this same anime series. For those of you who know the series, the Earth Kingdom is super fitting because in the series they are enemies of the Fire Nation, having engaged in a 10 year war, which perfectly mirrors the relationship between my red tropical fire ants and these black crazy ants who are natural enemies. Now one reason that I foresee the Earth Kingdom may not be a suitable name is because it operates under the rule of one king or queen. And well, these black crazy ants have multiple queens. But still, if you wanted to be consistent with the whole theme of Avatar The Last Airbender, you would vote for this name. And now we move on from these fictional universes to our real universe. Harambe Nation was suggested, which of course is a reference to the truly unfortunate event which took place on May the 28th earlier this year, where a male gorilla named Harambe was shot in a zoo after a three-year-old boy had fallen into his enclosure. Thankfully, the boy was saved, but Harambe lost his life. It was a huge issue and sparked so much controversy on social media, giving rise to a vast array of mostly negative reactions and mostly in support of Harambe. I feel if we vote for Harambe Nation as the name for our black crazy ants, it would be a cool tribute to Harambe, whom we love and miss and still somehow lives on forever in our hearts. In the same way that these black crazy ants will continue to self-perpetuate and live on forever in the setup if provided for. Now to be honest, I can't think of any reason right now why Harambe Nation might not be a suitable name for our black crazy ants, except of course if we look at Harambe representing why wild animals should not be held captive, and well, this colony came from a queen that was wild caught and is now being held captive in this setup by me, so naming them Harambe Nation would just make me feel real sad. So that would be one reason why we shouldn't name this colony Harambe Nation. And as a disclaimer, I usually always release my ants back into the wild where they came from when I feel I can't care for them anymore, so it's not the same as Harambe. Okay AC Council, these are the names in our first round of voting. It's time to vote! I will give you guys a few seconds to click the i card that will pop up here and cast your votes on your favorite name in this round. Remember to choose one name and don't not vote. Go! Okay, moving on. Now these names in this round are more general. I've grouped together these cool name suggestions because they refer to the color of the ants. Black. The top five name suggestions containing the word black are as follows. The Black Empire. I like this name because it suggests a colonial state of mind, kind of like how crazy ants have invaded many areas around the world. They're global conquerors. The Order of Black Knights. To me this sounds like a cool name as well. It suggests righteousness, strength, power, a team. Same goes for our next name suggestion. The Black Army which makes me imagine huge masses of soldiers ready to deploy and engage in battle if needed. The Black Menace, our fourth name in this round, also had a neat ring to it. I love how the name depicts a scary, powerful, and intimidating colony. Finally, the Black Party is a name I chose because I felt it was very reminiscent of a political party, highly fitting since we're voting right now and in light of the current US election season. Alright guys, so these are the names for our second round of voting. AC Council, time to vote again. I'll give you guys a few seconds to click the i card that will pop up here and cast your vote for your favorite name in this second round. Remember to choose one and don't not vote and also don't click the poll from the previous poll. Okay AC Council, we are halfway done. 
Now this third round of voting is also a grouping I put together of more general names. These names also make reference to the black aspect of black crazy ants. We seem to get a lot of good and popular entries in this category. So here we go. The Shadow Nation. This was a nice sounding name and was suggested by many of you guys. Shadows of course referring to black crazy ants. Similarly, the Shadow Walkers was a cool name I found in the suggestions. The Dark Ninjas was also suggested, and I love this name because in a previous video on this channel, we watched as two black crazy ants whizzed back and forth unnoticed in an outworld full of red tropical fire ants. They were definitely like stealthy ninjas. Dark Matter was another name that was suggested, and I really liked it simply because it was a reference to physical cosmology. For all of you science nerds out there. Finally, the Dark Swarm, our fifth contender in this third round of voting, was suggested by many of you and perfectly describes our black crazy ants at feeding time. Okay, AC Council, these are the names for our third round of voting. Time to vote. I'll give you guys a few seconds to click the i card appearing here and cast your votes on your favorite name in this third round. Remember to choose one and don't not vote. And as previously mentioned, don't bother clicking on previous polls. Alright guys, the final round of votes. This group of suggested names were great because it was a reference to their biology, and in particular, their neat ability to self-perpetuate. In a previous video, we explored how these black crazy ants are capable of double cloning, which allow the ants to incestually mate in the nest without inbreeding happening, which would otherwise lead to health defects in the ants. These black crazy ants will theoretically self-perpetuate in their setup and continue to live on indefinitely. So the following names referring to their everlasting life are as follows. Immortalia. I felt this name had a nice ring to it. It sounds Latin somehow and could make a really cool sounding name. The Immortals. Now this was one of the most popularly suggested names. I cannot even count how many of you guys suggested this name, so it had to be included. The Infinite Republic. This name was suggested and though it didn't get a lot of votes, I personally loved the sound of it. Same goes for the Eternal Tribe. Really cool sounding, with an almost ethnic flavor and suggesting a clan from the wilderness. The Immortal Empire was a name I loved when I saw it because it exudes feelings of never-ending, unsurmountable power and status. Okay AC Council, these are the names in our final round of voting. Time to vote! I'll give you guys a few seconds to click that i-card that will pop up right here and cast your votes on your favorite name in this last round. Remember to choose one and do not not vote. AC Council, our voting is closed. This completes the second phase in our quest for a name for our black crazy ant colony. Give yourselves a big pat on the back guys. I thank you all for your help, for engaging with us and participating in this cool interactive AC event together. I really can't wait to see the results and the names you guys have chosen. You can count on me to be checking on this every hour. Now I'll let this poll run in the next one or two weeks, and by the end of that period I'll choose the top name from each of the four rounds as well as one wild card, and I'll place the five names in a poll in a future video so we can finally name our black crazy ant colony. Like any pet, I found that giving your ant colony an actual name not only makes identifying your colony easier, but also personifies and characterizes them a bit. I love that these ants that I feature here on the Ants Canada channel are not only my ants, but I consider them to also be yours too. I want each and every one of you out there to feel that you're an integral part of their care and evolution. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up guys, share it around so we can get as many votes as possible, and leave me a comment as I try my best to read and respond to as many as I can. Subscribe to this channel for more ant videos, and always remember... It's ant love forever! Thanks Elodia! Okay, time for the AC question of the week! Last week we asked, what is the scientific name of Dr. Moreau's favorite species of ant to study? And so, congratulations to Arup Rilofs, who correctly answered Cephalotes Varians. Arup Rilofs, you won a new t-shirt from our shop weeks before it actually comes out. Congratulations and enjoy your new AC t-shirt. And now this week's question of the week is... 
What is the name of the gorilla that lost his life after being shot at a zoo on May the 28th of this year? Leave your answers in the comment section and like Arup, you could win one of our AC t-shirts that haven't debuted at our shop yet. Tune in for the winner next week. Thanks so much guys for watching this video, it really means a lot to me. Don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up to date on all of our mind-blowing ant videos, which, by the way, I was initially uploading every Monday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but lately I've been uploading them on Saturday afternoons. Are you guys okay if I start uploading on Saturdays? Do you prefer Saturdays or do you prefer Mondays? Let me know in the comment section. Also, if you feel I should upload twice a week, Perhaps with maybe a simpler update video, Q&A, or just some spontaneous and less scripted video, do let me know in the comments section. Because even though I'm already super busy running the Ants Canada Ant Store, this channel and other projects, I've been toying with the idea of uploading twice a week for you guys. Gosh, two uploads a week. The idea excites me and makes me nervous as well. Also, I'm not too sure if you guys have noticed, but I've bought some new camera gear and recording equipment just to up the quality of these videos for you guys. I've been testing it out and I'm so excited to continue making videos with this new equipment so I've decided to leave a hidden cookie for you guys just click here of some real neat video footage I just took of the Fire Nation using my new camera equipment. The detail is really exciting so let me know if you like it guys. Make sure to visit us at antscanada.com for more info on ant keeping and professional and reliable ant keeping gear. We also offer ants for sale and can help you sell your ants to people in your city. Love you so much guys, see you next week! It's ant love forever. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. Thanks guys.